Good day. You are welcome to this channel once again. This channel is Zion Tutor, where we teach both YX syllabus and Cambridge curriculum on mathematics, further mathematics, and physics. And this is a channel that we bring any difficult question to people so that they can be able to understand it and able to retain the concept of that question in their mind. Now today, please, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to press the subscribe button and help us share this video to the students out there that you know that this channel will be a benefit unto them. And if you have any question at the end of the video, you can drop your question or any inquiry that you have, or you want us to explain any topic in either mathematics, further math, and physics to you, or you have any question you want to ask, so just drop it there. There will be a WhatsApp number there for you to chat with. But in today's, we want to look at a question under what we call a coordinate geometry. Coordinate geometry. You know, under our coordinate geometry, we have been taught an equation of a straight line and a line that is parallel, a line that is par perpendicular. And for a parallel line, you know, our general equation of a straight line is y equals to mx plus c where our m is the gradient and c is our y-intercept. That's the general equation of a straight line. And when we have a parallel line, you know for every parallel line, they have the same gradient. So if a line are parallel, that means what is common to them is they will have the same gradient. But if a line are perpendicular, that means the product of the gradient of those lines we give us minus one. So with that little understanding, we want to look at a question. It's a Cambridge question, paper one, pure mathematics. It is 9709, May, June, paper one, question four, under coordinate geometry. And the question is this. It's in the diagram, you can see the diagram is a trapezium in which it have point A, B, C, and D. And that point A is 4,0. You see the diagram shows is trapezium A, B, C, D, in which the coordinate of A, B, and C are this. Coordinate of A, B, and C are that. Now, the condition is this. You say line B, C. This is line B, C. This line. You see B, C. And A, D. A, D. They are parallel. That's why they put this side. And don't forget, once lines are parallel, what is common to them is they have the same gradient. Also, they say angle A, B, C. A, B, C is 90 degrees. 90 degrees signify, you know, when we have a parallel line, a parallel line and a vertical line is meeting a parallel line, it forms 90 degrees. That means, you see, it is what? Perpendicular. So another way to say a line is perpendicular is saying to have 90 degrees. That means line BC and BA is perpendicular. That's what that thing is telling us. And we are told that CD is parallel to the X axis. That means this line is parallel to this X axis. Those are the conditions. So we have two parallel lines. This is parallel to this. This is parallel to X axis. And this BC is perpendicular to our BA. Now, the question is now say, find by calculation the value of h. You see, it's point C that I have h, comma, minor, comma, 3h. Sorry, we have h, comma, 3h. So how do we get h? If you come to the diagram, how do we get the coordinate for C, which is h, comma, 3h? That means if you know h, we can get our coordinate for C. So in this, what can we do to get the coordinate? You will see from those conditions there, that the gradient of this, since they are perpendicular, that means their gradient, the product of their gradient will give us minus one. This is it here. We give off minus one. That means if you find the gradient of this line BC, and I find the gradient of this line BA, if I multiply it together, the have to have what? Minus one. So in doing so, I will be able to get my h. So that means what I'm saying is, let's use m 
to signify our gradient that the gradient of BC will be equals to the formula for our gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now in this, let's say our y2 is equal to 3h, y2 and y1 will be equal to, that means 2, x2 will be equal to h and x1 will be equal to 0. So that means the gradient of bc will now be y2, that's 3h, minus y1, 2, divided by x2, h, minus 0. And this will give me 3h minus 2 over h. Let's keep this now. Now, the gradient of BA, MBA, line BA, the same formula, let's apply it. And from there, let's say our Y2 is equal to 0, and our Y1 is equal to 2, X2 is equal to 4, and Y, sorry, our X1 is equal to zero so by doing that my y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 will be zero minus two divided by x2 minus x1 four minus zero and that give me minus one over two so that means let's call this the equation two so if i now multiply these two gradients it must give me minus one and um, by so doing i can get my h out of that so this gradient, that means my gradient of BC multiplied by the gradient of BA will give me minus 1. So what is the gradient? That's 3H minus 2 over H multiplied by minus 1 over 2 will give me minus 1. So if you do the uh, normal, so that means that we have minus in the bracket 3H minus 2 will be equal to minus 2H. This cancel this. So that means 3h minus 2h will be equal to 2. And my h will now be equal to what? 2. So if my h is now 2, that means I can get the coordinate of c to be 2, 6. But the question says find by calculation the value for h. That means my h is what? Is 2. Now the second question under this is to find the coordinate of d. This d. The coordinate of d. How do we get the coordinate of D? Now, since D is on its own here, I mean the simple way to get the coordinate of D is by force getting the equation of this line because it's connected to D. And we get the equation of this line because it's connected to D. And when we solve the two equations simultaneously, the value of x and y that we get there will be the coordinate for my d. But the question is, how do I get the equation of this line? And that means I means to know my point C. The first in point C is point C is h comma three h. Since my h is two, that means point C will be two comma. 6. Now I have a one point on that line. I need to get the equation of the line. But don't forget from the question, we are told that the line CD is parallel to the x axis. Now if you have an x axis, it's not changing. So from this x axis, that means what they are saying when they say CD is parallel to x axis, what they are saying that the gradient is zero. Because if this line CD is parallel to this x axis. Nothing is changing. That means if you say this is 0, comma 0 here, yeah, because at this point, our vertical axis is 0, and our horizontal axis is 0. So if I want to get the gradient of this line, using our y2 minus y1, let's say this is my y2, y1, that will be 0 minus 0, even with 0 over 4, that will give us 0. So that means the gradient of my x axis, that line x is 0. And since The gradient of the x axis is zero. And since this x axis is parallel to CD, 
That means the gradient of line CD will also be equal to zero. Now, if the gradient of line CD is equal to zero, how do I get the equation of a line? Don't forget, CD is a straight line. So I can use my general equation of a straight line as y equals to mx plus c. But since my gradient is zero, y here will be equal to c. But how do I get c? Since I have a point on that line, and the point is this. So that means here, my y will be equal to what? x is 2, and y equals to 6. So that means my c will be equal to what? 6. So that line, the equation of that line is y equals 6. Let's keep this. Now, the second line that connects to D, the second line that connects to D is this line. And from the question, we are told that BC is parallel to D. That means since they are parallel, they will have the same gradient. And don't forget, what's the gradient of our BC? The gradient of BC is 3H minus 2 over H. And don't forget our H is 2. So that means I will have 3 into bracket 2 minus 2 over 2. And that's 6 minus 2. That's 4. That means the gradient is 2. So if the gradient of this line is 2, that means the gradient of line AD will be also equal to 2 because they are parallel. Now let's get the equation of line AD. Also, line AD is also a straight line. So I can use y equals to mx plus c. So that means my y equals to what's my m here? That will be 2x plus c. Now, in getting my intercept, I know a point on that line, which is point A, 4, 0. That means the point A, which is 4, 0. That means my x is 4 and my y is 0. If I substitute it to this, my x is 4, y is 0. That means I will have 0 equals 2 into bracket 4 plus c. So from here, my c will be equal to minus 8. So that means the equation of the line AD will be y equals to 2x minus 8. Now, you see now, you have got these two simultaneous equations. From here, we know that our y is equals to 6. So let's get the value for my x. Since y is equals to 6, I can go to the second equation that says y equals to 2x minus 8. So what's my y? 6. That will be 6 equals to 2x minus 8. So that means 14 equals to 2x. That means my x will be 14 over 2 and that's 7. So that means the coordinate of my d, which is s comma y, will be equal to my x is 7 and my y is what? 6. So that is the coordinate of my d. That is the coordinate of d. Please, if you find this interesting, and if you have any question regarding this, please drop it at your comment section. And please, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to press this subscribe button and help us share this video. And if you are a returning subscriber, we love you. Thank you. God bless you.